It was such a vibrant community. And now what is it? Trucks and cars. For 42 years. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. Now, this is the street that I remember walking up and down with my old man. And I remember that there was like a toy store there, grocery store, a hardware store. The luncheon that used to be here, a carpet place right over there. They sell carpets and linolins and all kinds of stuff like that. I mean, this was a community. If, if you walk that way and you see all the stores, you had the same thing here. And people knew each other. And, you know, it was just a vibrant community of people who, you know, lived here. It was a, you know, so, it was, uh, it was just removed, you know, just, I don't know, like, somebody set off an atomic bomb and boom, you have this. And that's it. And there were plenty of little shops. There was my, I was very poor when I was a young bride and I had little kids, I was very poor. And the kids still know the name of it, but on, I was on East Broadway and behind us was I think Madison Street. Hen, the next one was Henry, Henry Street. Henry, yeah. On Henry Street and a couple of blocks this way was a pizza parlor. But it also had lasagna and you know, pasta and stuff. And like once every two months, that's it, eating out. And we'd go to that place and the kids loved it. And they didn't have to wash dishes, I didn't have to cook. It was wonderful. And the kids are still talking about that place. It was like a holiday to go out and sit down and be put the food in front of you and they can have whatever they wanted. And it's gone. They're all gone, these wonderful little shops that had such and all of them took credit you know they knew you they trusted you i'll pay you on friday no problem they'd write it in the book there's no store anymore that 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 gives credit bracket hires you know in the minds of people although I, I mean I knew people who lived in there they had the impression that it was you know and I think that plays in the heads of people uh, it does have a, a dynamic of creating in the mind if, you, if you're not careful uh, you know you, 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 you don't want that you don't want to you want to instill that kind of a, a you know, idea in the kids of any, uh, you know, of any child that, you know, that, that someone's better than them by virtue of where they're living. On Clinton Street, which is between Broadway and Grand Street, there's a bakery called Gertel's. That's a landmark in the neighborhood. I don't even know if it's still there, but Gertel's was on Clinton Street between East Broadway and Grand Street. And on the corner of East Broadway and Essex was a huge, um, uh, not, it wasn't a coffee, a cafeteria. It was a oh, very sure. large cafeteria on that corner. I think it's something Chinese now. I'm not okay. sure, but I think so. It used to be a huge neighborhood hub. Uh, I worked in that neighborhood for a Jewish butcher for many, many years uh, as a secretary. And that guy, whose name was Harry Goldberg, and he had a meat store, and he taught me how to drive. 
and uh, one of the few guys I ever knew that never made a pass at me, which was very nice. He's gone. He's dead. His butcher shop is gone. So much of what we used to have there is gone. And they were landmarks, you know, they were like that, that uh, cafeteria was a landmark. Just imagine that you're walking through any of these other streets here that you just went through. Yeah. And just imagine businesses on each side. Just imagine, you know, a lively community of people that knew and interacted with each other on a daily basis. They knew each other's names. It was community, it was a village, you could say, bang, oh, you got it, right there. That's what it was. It was, it was, it was just, it was, people existed here. And, uh, that they would build anything on these grounds that would not represent that community of people, it would be an injustice. It would be, it would be, it would be ridiculous if they if they don't consider what was here. And I think that's what they have to do: consider what was here. <laughs>